Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing with some of my very favorite ColourPop products. Um, you guys have probably known for a while now how much I love ColourPop. I've used them over and over again in my videos and I actually kind of was inspired to do this video because of some recent exciting news. I actually have a coupon code with ColourPop now. It's just the code Alley. You can get 10% off of your order. And so it made me really want to create a video kind of showing you guys my top favorite products and doing almost a full face with that. I Say almost a full face because there are a couple of products that are not ColourPop that I'm going to use in this tutorial, but for the most part, what you're going to see is from ColourPop. These are my tried and true products. These are the things that compete with high-end products for me. I love the quality that ColourPop brings to the table and they also are so affordable. Um, just so you know, you guys, this video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do this video. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and clip back my hair. Last time I used these on camera, you guys, somebody was like, um, I think you put those in backwards and I totally did. And I was was having the hardest time with them the whole time I was filming. So thank you to those people who were commenting about these clips. Clearly I don't know how to use hair accessories very well. That seems to already be working so much better. Okay, so I already have my brows done. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and I wanted to try out a new eyeshadow primer. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. It's the Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the eyes. Um, apparently, you're supposed to let this set for about 30 seconds before going in with eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna kind of apply this all over the lid and I'm gonna use my finger to blend that out. I'm like so excited to be sitting down and filming a makeup tutorial because last week was my skincare week. If you missed it, I will have the playlist linked down below, but I basically shared with you guys how I cleared my skin basically from the inside out and then also my morning routine and my evening routine. So if you did not see those, again, I will have them linked down below. Because of that, I didn't get to film like any makeup tutorials and I've been missing it, honestly. So I'm excited to be sitting down filming a tutorial today. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. 30 seconds is longer than you think, so I'm just gonna let that get a little bit tacky. Um, while I wait for that to dry, I have so many favorite eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop, but I really wanted to just streamline the ones that I'm super in love with and that I feel like most people would get a lot of use out of. So the palette that I'm choosing to use today is this one right here. This is the California Love Palette. I love the California Love Palette. <laughs> Here's what it looks like on the inside. It's just a neutrals palette. There are definitely more warm tones in here than some of their other palettes that they make, but there's something about this palette Every single time I use it, I feel like I make such gorgeous looks, but so effortlessly, you know? Like you really can't go wrong with whatever colors you pair on here, which make it really easy for when you are running out the door or if you're new to makeup, you really can't mess up with this palette. It's so good. So I wanted to use this one today. Okay, I think the primer should be set. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this shade right here called Gnarly. I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I'm just gonna start to work that in the crease and a little bit above as my transition shade. How have you guys been this month? Have you been busy with all the holiday stuff? Are you still prepping? I honestly can't believe how fast the holidays have flown by. Like from Halloween to Thanksgiving to now Christmas approaching, it's kind of crazy how fast time is flying. And I feel like actually I'm pretty prepared this year. I usually do all of my Christmas shopping on Cyber Monday. I seriously spend the whole day just making sure I get something for everyone I'm buying gifts for. So it usually helps that way like it helps me stay ahead I guess so I'm feeling pretty good right now most of my stuff is already wrapped and everything so I'm just excited for the holidays I love Christmas so much and I love everything that comes along with it like spending time with family even like sweaters Christmasy makeup buying gifts for people giving to people you know I just love it so much I love this as a transition shade it's so good so we're gonna go ahead and let's see I'm thinking about what I want to do I think I want to do something a little bit more intense than what I typically do with this palette yeah I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a deeper color so I'm gonna go into this one next this is called gold rush I don't know I'm just kind of feeling like doing a little bit of a more smoky bold eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to work this color in the crease because I'm wanting to use some of these other deep shades closer to the lid. So I wanna make sure that the colors are kind of blending upward into the brow area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this here. It's a really pretty kind of reddish brown color. So this year on Instagram, you might have seen already, I did my not so secret Santa giveaway where every day for 12 days from the 1st to the 12th, you guys were able to enter in your wishlist items. 
and there was one winner every day until the last day we actually chose three winners and it was so fun for me you guys it was so fun for me to like actually give you guys what you want because in so many of my giveaways i always like to purchase the makeup that i give away i just feel like it's more personal that way in my opinion i'm, I'm just blending out the edges with that first gnarly shade that we used so I don't know, it was just really fun for me to like buy you guys what you want. And people asked for so many different things. It was really fun to see what everybody was wishing for. It made me want to do that every year because it was just so fun. So if you guys participated in that and if you enjoyed it, would you let me know? And let me know if you would like to see that as a tradition every year because I feel like I will be doing that as long as you guys want it, of course. Let's dip into the shade right here called Highway One. And I'm gonna start to kind of build up the outer corner of the eye with this. And then once there's less product on the brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and kind of drag it through the crease as well to kind of deepen that up a little bit more. Okay, I'm loving all these colors so far. I'm looking like a little gingerbread cookie in the best way, you know? I'm gonna take the brush we were using before with that reddish shade in the crease and I'm just gonna kind of run that over again. I'm really just kind of layering and going back and forth to make sure that everything is blended since we are using such deep colors today. Okay, for the shimmery shade, I wanna to stick to like this coppery, well, I guess it's kind of coppery. It's like this burnt bronze reddish shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on the lid. This is called Kahuenga. I hope I'm saying that shade name right. I'm gonna take this on my finger. I usually like to apply any shimmer shades with my finger, I just feel like it's a bit more intense that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the inner portion of the lid, making sure to kind of blend it over top of the edge where the dark shadow is. We're not gonna go too far over, but just enough for it to overlap a little bit. Okay, after I've applied that with my finger, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the brush we were just using and kind of buff it along the edges of the shimmer shade just to make sure that there's no harsh lines there. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit of a deeper brown shade, actually the darkest brown in the palette, this one right here, and I'm gonna use this to kind of further deepen up the outer corner of the eye. This is called Mission, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right here, kind of diagonally along the lash line, and then once there's a little bit less on the brush, again, I'm gonna take that and kind of carve out the crease a little bit more. But I really want most of the intensity up against the lash line here. That color is so pretty. I'm not worrying about the edges here because we're gonna clean that up. That's why we did the eyes first. Um, it would not be an eye look, for me at least, without some of this glitter. So we're gonna go ahead and take this El Capitan glitter. And I like to use this on my finger as well. I'm just gonna take a bit of that and I'm gonna press this on the inner portion of the lid. I'm gonna kind of use tapping motions because I still want that reddish um, shimmer shade to show through. So instead of like swiping, which would apply a lot more glitter to the lid, I'm choosing to tap it on so that you can still see that color underneath. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. Okay, I'm gonna use a liner just to kind of add even more of a bronzy effect to the eyes. This is from ColourPop as well. It's the Cream Gel Liner and it is in the shade Show Me. It's a beautiful bronze eyeliner and I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna line super close to the lashes on the top lid just to kind of get that extra bronze effect right along the lash line. It's not gonna be too obvious on camera, but like when you look up close at the eyes, you're able to see that bit of bronze along the lash line and it's so pretty. I'm all about doing like small details when it comes to eye looks. I just think that really adds something special. So now we're gonna go ahead and wipe away any fallout under the eyes. And I'm using my fingernail to kind of clean up a good shape on the edges. And I'm just gonna take my finger after wiping away the fallout and I'm just gonna press it down into the skin so it's not too harsh. I'm just taking the brush that we were using with that red color called Gold Rush, and I'm kind of blending out the edge on this eye a little bit further, because I felt like this one was a little bit further out than this eye, so I'm just trying to balance them. All right, before we move on to the face, I'm actually going to apply Top Lash Mascara. My favorite mascara from ColourPop is this right here. It's the BFF Volumizing Mascara, but this one is in the shade Brownie Points. It's a beautiful brown mascara. I'm so into it. I love it so much. You guys probably already know. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna build up three coats on the top lashes. I really want the top lashes to be pretty voluminous with this eye look. So I'm just gonna build that up. I love brown mascara because it gives you that definition and you can almost go even more ham with your mascara and it's not gonna look over the top or too harsh on the eyes. I love that mascara. And you can still see the lashes, you know? It's not like too light of a mascara. It still defines the lashes. I love 
brown mascara. Let's go ahead and do complexion. I'm actually gonna skip primer today and I'm gonna go straight into a tinted moisturizer. I love this from ColourPop. Okay, it's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and it's so good. This has to be my favorite complexion product from ColourPop. I think I've tried every one of their foundations they've come out with and also their concealers and this is by far my favorite thing they've ever launched as far as complexion goes. And I also love to use the ColourPop sponge. This is amazing. I'll have both linked down below. Um, I like to actually pump this directly on the sponge. I've learned that that's the best way for me to apply it. I use the shade 4N. I do two pumps usually of this, which sounds like a lot, and it usually is a lot when it comes to a complexion product, but I like a little bit more coverage, so if you don't like as much coverage, or if you don't need as much coverage, just stick to one pump, but for me, two does the trick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out directly with the sponge. I normally like to use like a foundation brush and then a sponge, but not with this product. I really like to just use a sponge directly because of the texture and the formula. It works perfectly. So I'm just continuing to blend that out. So this is definitely not a full coverage product, but that's why I kind of like it, especially when I feel like my skin's doing pretty good. I like to use this all over the skin and then just build up coverage with concealer instead of a super full coverage foundation. And I feel like I've actually kind of been into pairing it with more bold looks. Like this is a pretty bold eye look and I feel like it's kind of fun to do a really fresh face. Obviously making sure that it looks even, but that doesn't mean you have to do a full on full coverage foundation, you know? Sometimes for me, I'm like an all or nothing person. Like if I do a glam look, I'm wearing full coverage foundation, full coverage concealer, full coverage powder, and then like a bold eye and a bold lip. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's easy to be more all or nothing or like on the opposite scale, do something really natural. So it's kind of fun to combine it with a tinted moisturizer and then something bold on the eyes. For concealer, I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and put this underneath the eyes. I've been like loving this all over again. It's perfect for more dry weather months, I feel, because my skin needs all the hydration it can get. And this gives such great coverage without ever making my skin feel dry or look dry. So I'm really into it. I'm gonna use it to kind of spot conceal any areas on my cheeks as well. So I know I look crazy, but this is what's gonna really help brighten up the center of the face and kind of make you look more flawless, but it's not gonna look heavy because you only have a light layer of tinted moisturizer underneath. But then you use concealer on the blemishes and it looks super fresh and amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with the same ColourPop sponge. If I'm just running errands, I won't do as much concealer in the center of the face. I'll just spot conceal and kind of cover up the dark circles under my eyes and that's it when I'm using the tinted moisturizer. And then it's even more of a fresh natural look. But this is kind of like the best of both worlds because you get that flawless look, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. Okay, I'm gonna set the face with the Nikia Joy Cosmetics, uh, what is this called? Velvet Finishing Powder. So I usually like to use a smaller brush under my eyes and in the T-zone. And then I take a fluffy brush, just with that same powder, and I like to just use that to set the rest of the face. Okay, and while we are working on the face, I'm gonna go ahead and do a light layer of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Brighten Up Luminous Powder. I've been loving to use this kind of all over the face. I'll take just a small amount, and I like to put that on just whatever powder brush I'm using, and I like to buff it all over the skin, and it just gives such a pretty lit from within glow. I'm just gonna take a little bit more and just buff that all over. Okay, let's go ahead and move back to the eyes. I'm actually gonna start off with eyeliners. I'm gonna take the um, cream gel liner in the shade Honeydew. This is one of my favorite waterline like nude colors to brighten up the eyes. So I'm just gonna put that in the waterline. That really just helps the eyes look awake and bright, especially if you have more of a sultry look going on. I'm gonna take that same bronzy eyeliner that we were just using on the top lash line, and I'm actually gonna take this right up against the lashes all the way across the lower lash line. So I'm really gonna work it into the lashes, kind of scribbling it back and forth. And again, I'm going from inner corner all the way to this outer corner here. Okay, now we're gonna blend out that eyeliner a little bit. So I'm gonna take a small smudging brush, and just kind of blend it out. And then we're gonna go back into the California Love Palette. And I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This is again called Cahuenga, I think. Hope I'm saying that right. And I'm just gonna tap off the extra and I'm literally gonna start layering this right on top of the eyeliner. And it's gonna help the eyeshadow stick to the lower lash line and it just will intensify that bronzy look we're going for. So I'm gonna take that from inner corner to outer corner as well. Not too worried about the edges being perfect because we're gonna buff it out with something else in a second. 
All right, I'm gonna take this shade right here called The Bay, and I'm gonna take that on a smaller fluffy brush. We're gonna start to buff out the edges of that metallic shade with this. So I'm just taking that and I'm kind of using light scribbling motions here as well. Just using that to kind of buff the color a bit lower, making sure to connect it to the existing shadows on the outer corner here. Same thing on this eye. And then I'm actually gonna take the gnarly shade, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna take the same brush because I'm lazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that and go even lower to kind of create that transition shade from the lower lash line down into the under eye area. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that Kahuenga shade, just in like the inner portions because I don't wanna lose that metallicness of it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on there and then I'm gonna dip into Highway 1, which was that mid-tone brown, this one right here. And I'm gonna take that one on the very outer corner of the eye, just to kind of increase that definition there and to kind of connect that deep tone up into this outer corner here. Okay, I'm gonna take my powder brush and just wipe away any fallout. And then I'm gonna take my BFF mascara in the same color, brownie points, and I'm gonna do probably just like one good coat of mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, I'm not sure what color I wanna do in the inner corner yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the face, and then we'll decide that later. For bronzer, this is my current favorite bronzer from ColourPop, and it's like, one of my top bronzers right now in general. It's the Coconut Beach Bronzer from their recent Coconut Collection. It's just the perfect formula and shade for fair skin tones. There's also a deeper shade if you have medium to deep skin that would probably work better for you than this one. But I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin using this. I like to build it around the forehead, under the cheeks, of course, and then a bit under my jawline. I'm not gonna take it down too far because of my sweater but you know, along the jawline just to make sure there's still definition there. I'm also gonna dust it lightly on the sides of the nose and underneath and a little bit under the lip. And then I'm actually going to do the lip color first because I've recently been trying to remember to do like my lip color that I wanna do before choosing blush. I feel like it really helps pull together the whole look. I learned that from Sophia Tilbury, which is I believe Charlotte Tilbury's niece. She was talking about how Charlotte always taught her to do that. And so I've been trying to remember to do that and it's really been helpful. So let's go ahead and do the lips. I'm gonna take one of my favorite lip liners. This is the Lippy Pencil from ColourPop in the shade Another Round. It's just like the perfect My Lips But Better. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation we have on the lips. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and line and fill in the lips with this. I love this lip liner. Another thing I love from ColourPop are their Luxe lipsticks. It's just like, they're basic bullet lipsticks, but they're not basic. They're so good. This is the What's Your Sign shade, which is the shade that um, Kathleen Lights created. I love this as a lipstick. It's such a good, like everyday nude color and it pairs so beautifully with that lip liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this right on top. And then I love ColourPop's lip glosses. They're ultra glossy lips. And my favorite one of all time is definitely Moonchild. The label is like ripped off. I need to probably get a new one of this cause it's kind of old at this point, but I love it. Um, this is Kathleen Light's collaboration as well. And it is one of my favorite glosses of all time. If you've watched my channel, I've used this so many times on my channel and it's just the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer that gloss right on top. Is that not just a fabulous nude lip? I'd say so. Okay, let's do blush and then highlighter. Um, the two blushes that I love the most and I get the most use out of from ColourPop are these two right here. So I'm gonna be choosing between the two. Um, this one is from Kathleen Lights. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's I Need Space. Let me double check that. I can't see what it is because I put it in one of their uh, blush components. So I can't see what the shade is that's underneath. Yeah, this is I Need Space. It is such a beautiful kind of mauve blush and it does have a bit of shimmer in it, as does this one right here. This is the Disney Designer Collection. Whoa, almost fell out of my hand. It's the Disney Designer Collection blush in the shade Enchanted Mirror. And they're both similar but different. This one's obviously a little lighter and a bit more peach. This one has a more mauve undertone and it is a bit more shimmery than this one. So, let's see. I'm kind of feeling this one but this one would also work really well. I think I'm gonna use this one. So again, this is I Need Space. And I'm just gonna smile, and I'm going to apply that on the apples of the cheeks, blending upward. For highlighter, I love this highlighter. I know so many of you guys probably already have this, but if you don't, you definitely should get it. It's especially perfect for fair skin tones. This is the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Lunch Money. And I like to take this, and I just flip my sponge over, and I dip it directly into the pan. And then I take the sponge and just lightly tap this on the high points of the face. 
and it just creates the most beautiful lit from within kind of glow. This one doesn't have like any sparkle in it. It's just sheen basically. It's so pretty. I like to take a little bit around the brow right here. And I even like to smile and kind of pop a little bit on the front of the cheeks. And then I'll take a little bit of that and put it down the center of the nose as well. And I think I do want to use the Super Shock cheek as my highlighter in the inner corner. So I'm actually gonna take that on a little bit of a definer brush. And I'm just gonna pop this in the inner corner. It's definitely very intense. So I'm gonna be sure to blend it in to the existing shades on the lid. I'm gonna take my finger and kind of press that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and apply it underneath the brow right here just to kind of lift the brow. I'm gonna take a bit of that smudger brush that has a little bit of that um, reddish metallic shade and I'm just kind of blending it over top of the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter just to kind of make sure it flows seamlessly into that lower lash line. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and brush up the brows with the spoolie of my Benefit Pencil. I'm just gonna touch up any sparse areas. Okay, I'm gonna step back and assess the situation. I'm gonna take my bronzer brush, of course, and add just a bit more to the forehead. And everything else I feel like is in a good place. So we're gonna go ahead and set the face with like my favorite setting spray right now, drugstore high-end included. This is like so good and it happens to be from ColourPop. I've been talking about this a ton on my channel recently. It's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. And I love this so much because it's hydrating, it's perfect for winter, but also the applicator on here is incredible. So I'm just gonna spray the face. Oh, and it smells so good too. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use my handy fan. And I like to take my sponge and just lightly press over the skin to make sure everything is pressed in and there's no powdery finish anywhere. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Brow Gel. This is a tinted one in the shade Soft Brown. I'm gonna use that to brush up the brows and kind of make them look feathery. All right, let's take these hair clips out. I think we're done. All right, you guys, so that completes my almost full face of ColourPop Cosmetics. I love ColourPop, and I love how this look turned out. I definitely feel like this is something you could wear all year round, but I feel like it's especially perfect for a holiday party or a holiday occasion of any sort. I feel like it really does fit with a winter vibe, even though it's a little bit more warm toned. I love it and I think it's really festive with the glitter. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found it helpful. All the products from ColourPop that I mentioned today, I stand behind. They are my tried and true, like I said before. They will be listed and linked down below. And again, if you guys want to, you can use the code Ally for 10% off. The code is an affiliate code. So if you do use it, I will get a small percentage back. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited that I have a code with ColourPop. Honestly, it's a dream come true. And it's all because of you guys. Like, thank you for all of your love and support that you show me here on my channel. I wouldn't be doing any of this without you guys. So I really appreciate you. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I need to go out to dinner with this look on. Are you joking? I can't stay home looking like this. So I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.